Welcome back. Now we're here in Nigeria and in Bayasa State where at least 13 people are reported to have been infected with monkeypox disease in the Fagwe area of Genogwa. 49 others who had contact with those infected are still under observation. The outbreak has been confirmed by the authorities and the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ibiti Mitsula Etebu, has advised residents to remain calm as the disease is being properly controlled. Monkeypox is a viral disease caused by infections from infected monkeys, rats and squirrels. Human monkeypox infection was first discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where it is now considered to be endemic. It is more common in rural rainforest areas of Central and West Africa. It usually takes 6 to 16 days for symptoms to show after an infection, which between humans is typically by droplet or close contact with other body fluids. Early symptoms include fever, serious headaches, back pain, muscle aches and lethargy. Later on, a characteristic rash usually starts on the face and may spread to the palms and soles of the feet. Monkeypox is milder than smallpox, which was eradicated globally in 1980. It has a case fatality of 1%. There is no cure or vaccine for monkeypox, but those previously immunized against smallpox tend to have milder infections. Other preventive measures include putting active cases in quarantine, avoiding infected animals and washing hands after caring for infected people or touching any surface on which the virus is suspected to have been deposited. Treatment is symptomatic until the virus has run its course. Healthcare workers must observe standard precaution and infection control measures. We have had some training, education and training programs on infection prevention and control and also to build the knowledge of our healthcare workers on um, what monkeypox is and how it is transmitted. All the patients we have managed and uh, we have seen so far, none has died and they are doing well. Uh, uh, most of the adults have self-limiting infections. Two patients of the infected company in Yanagua have been discharged with a clean bill of health. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News. Now we have the Secretary of the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos Brand, Dr. Sunday Luro, here with us to tell us more about the monkey pox. This is your welcome, Dr. Luro, to Network uh, Africa. Thanks for having me here. Now, uh, the recent outbreak of monkey pox in Bayelsa has instilled fear into many citizens. But for those who don't really understand what mo monkey pox is, can you tell us what this disease is? Yeah. Thank you. Um, it, it's quite unfortunate once again that uh, we are witnessing one of these uh, uh, diseases that uh, uh, we can rightfully refer to as a, 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 a muster. And, and the reason for this being that, as you have heard in the commentary, there's no cure. Now, coming back to what is the monkeypox. Monkeypox is a viral illness caused by a, a pox virus which belongs to the same family with uh, shaky paws and all the other pulses like uh, cow paws and the rest. And um, if, if you look at the history of this disease, it came up in, uh, in the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, at about the time that uh, uh, all efforts, resources were tailored towards eradicating uh, small pulse. In fact, the first place that it was discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, uh, was declared, the, the eradication of smallpox was declared so just some few years, about two or three years before the, the, the identify or before the discovery of the first case of the, of, uh, the monkeypox in um, the, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, smallpox was declared eradicated, the eradication was, was in 1980. So you, you can imagine the timeline between those two horrible viral diseases. Uh, as we all know, and as, as we are fed in the commentary, uh, it, it, it is worrisome. People will, 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 will entertain a lot of fear because of our environment, especially if you consider if, if we, the, the outcome of this disease is determined uh, most time by, by the most status of the person, 
the, the most state of this person. And if you take into consideration, in, 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 in our society, poverty and hunger is an issue. And that is why to today, uh, as a continent, we have not done so well. If, if, if you look at the issue of the development, uh, the millennial development goals, you see number one was eradication of extreme poverty and hunger. And funny enough, just in 20, I think that was 2001, Africa head of state, they came together that having realized this temple is set by the larger body in the world in 2000, that we must do something to, 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 to make sure that we give our, our, our citizens uh, some reasonable level of health care. And by way of us meeting up with the minimum recommendation for uh, allocation national allocation to health, which will be 50%. But you'll be shocked that after 10 years there, and at the last time, only Rwanda and uh, South Africa met the timeline. But even Nigeria that hosted that forum, till mm -hmm. today, we are still far, if not, we are below 7%. So you can imagine, there's hunger in the land, the health care is in a, a Pitiable state. We will get back to the issue of the health care in Nigeria. Now, have we ever recorded any uh, monkeypox disease in Nigeria before this case in Biosis State? Yeah, yeah, not, not, not to my knowledge. But it has always been within this sub region, West Africa, Central Africa, and especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where it is endemic, and along the Congo basin, it has always been there. In fact, they have recorded, in fact, last year, I think they recorded outbreak last year. Uh, leading to about, I think they have recorded about two deaths with about uh, 26 cases altogether. We are, it has always been there. And you have also, we also find out that even in some developed society in the U.S., they had it in 20, 2003, but it was, an import, it was imported from uh, laboratory uh, animals, animals that were imported for the purpose of research. I think in that case, it was a, uh, whether that rat or so, and funny enough, you start wondering, why is it that when you have all this uh, monster, so to say, the viral disease, every, all of them, they have, most of them will have something to do with right, you know. And of course, in Nigeria, we should be wary because uh, we also know the capability of rodents. We have heard a lot about rodent people penetrating where you never expect them to be. So it's it, it, it cause for concern, you know. The citizens will continue to enter because they also know what they can, the limit of what they can get from the health system. Well, people have been eating bushmeat and, you know, before now. It's not like this is, it's, it's just a recent development. So why do we have this disease coming into Nigeria now? What has changed? Yeah, I, I don't think there's, there's nothing basically that has changed. Uh, eating uh, bushmeat, monkeys and the rest. I, I, I grew up in a locality where I would see monkey fly around my neighborhood in the village. I have, I have taken part, you know, in the exercise or uh, in partaking in the eating of monkeys. But by and large, if, if you look at our region, especially the, sub, uh, the West Africa sub-region, we, we share boundaries. You understand? And most time, those borders control in terms of disease control and surveillance. It's not there. That is number one. And if you also look at this, the... the, the the, 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 if you trace the incidents, the, the, the prime case, the first case, the primary case, we had the story of this person killing monkey, he ate it, then thereafter he develops an symptom, and people around him did. And one funny thing, it didn't stop there because of the usual of stigmatization, and the usual, when you have this kind of thing, it's a strange disease, people think you have been punished by the gods or whatever. Thank you very much, Doctor. Mm. I know there's a lot to be said about this, mm. but we don't have so much time to take it. Well, thank you very much for coming on Network Africa, Secretary of the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos Branch, Dr. Sonny Lowe. Thank you for having me. And that's our program today. Thank you for watching. I am BC Adebayo.